Hello everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Chidi Ebere. This is a continuation of our previous tutorial or this is a uh, continuation of our project tutorial which we call DriveFlex and which is uh, a ride-sharing application. So this application is being built with Flutter and we are going to integrate Google APIs and Firebase to it to be able to achieve uh, the functionalities that we desire for this particular project. So in this uh, tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to add a splash screen to our project. When a user fires up your application, the first screen that he or she sees, it's a welcome message, a logo, uh, your the test of your application or whatever. So we are going to build a splash screen just to show the loading, loading, loading before you go over to your login or sign up page, as the case may be. So we've gone ahead to create our uh, project in the last tutorial. And this project, we've also cleaned it up by removing the home page boiler plate, which is normally uh, there by default. And we've also created an asset page. If you don't have this asset page, create it. And we've added some assets into our asset page, images, font, and the sound. So this asset can be gotten from a link, my GitHub uh, link, which is shared in the video description of the uh, previous video. And I will still share it in the description of this other video. So without wasting much of our time, we are going to fire up the application. So on our library folder, we click on it and we add a new page. I will call this splash underscore page. Uh, you can do dot that or you can click and sign, it will add it for you by default. So we want to import our material widget here. Just type material, it will show you this. If not, type it in full. I want to create a, a stateless widget because this the change the state of this uh, page will not change. It only shows the splash screen, and after some time, it navigates to the other uh, screen to your login or sign up page. So that's why we are using a stateless widget. So we call this splash page. So, and because we are not using a no check. We have to remove this question mark here. No check has to do with the version or SDK version you are using. Normally, no check starts from 2.12.0 upwards, but we are using 2.11.0, which eliminates the no checker. So make sure you have this 2.11.0. So for this particular tutorial, we are going to go ahead and uh, we've created this already. So come back to your main dot that page and we disable we commented this out before so we are going to put it back in so make sure you have this you might have home page here change it to splash page which i have done before now and make sure you import it here the name of your package or the name of your application or project then the name of the file or you can go ahead let me remove this and show you how to add that don't add my own package name, add yours. It's going to show error here. So you put your cursor here, it will blink for some time and give you this balloon. Click on it and import this splash page. So I go back over to this place and uh, I add color to this and just to color it, there's no color here, that's why it's black. I do colors.white. So with this colors.white, we are able to, we are ready to fire on. So I can refresh this and it will show the white color. So we are good to go. So the next thing is to add a colon, a child, and I, the child we are going to add is colon. Why do we need colon? Col we need colon because we, add, we need to add more than one widget in our, in this particular page. So we use colon, I want it to be vertically placed. If you want it horizontally, we use row. And for us to specify the widget we want in here, we are going to use the attribute children, which allows you to start putting more than one widget into this place. So with this set, we go over to this place, go to pop.dev. The package we are looking for is avatar glow. 
avatar glow this particular one this make your image icon which will be on your on your page to glow to emit colors so for this particular one we go over to installing we go over to installing and we pick this dependency here we right click we copy then we go over to our popspec.yml file i've already added it before so i'm just doing it for you to see you paste it somewhere here paste it somewhere here the next one we are going to add is this animated test kit here so go over to your uh before then before this we want to add our animation glow so how we can be able to see it glow while we do the animated test kit so this is a sample of what it will look like what you want it to be doing while it's showing the splash screen so i don't need the full implementation for this i just need uh a small implementation or do we need the full implementation okay let's go with the full implementation duration and uh, the full implementation it adds timer to it at what time it glows after we what seconds does it glow so we come over to our splash screen and inside this place we do this we paste this so it's going to show us an error here the reason it's showing this error is because we've not imported this package avatar glow so put your cursor here and then click on this and import it here it's automatically import or you can just type in this this line and it will import it for you so we'll just refresh our page to see what it looks like this is what it will look like here now it's showing this error because it can't find this image flutter.png remember i told you you have to put it in your pop your prospect.yml file here make sure you have something like this and inside your image folder this is assets which is this and this is images which is this so it's looking into this image folder for it so we don't have flutter.png so we want to use car underscore ios.png here so that's what we have we change this particular to car underscore ios so we refresh now it should be able to show our car image so you see we're able to get that so the next thing we will do is that we want everything to be aligned at the center here so under this column we do our main axis alignment Okay, it gives me the option main axis alignment dot center. Okay, so we do this. It should bring it down here, I think. Okay, it brings it down here. We want to it to show right here. So the next thing we want to add is uh, let me explain what this does. It do, it means that this process of glowing, emitting blue colors, will continue for it will it will repeat every two seconds one two one two so this is two seconds this milliseconds that's why you have to make it two thousand so the repeat duration it repeats in milliseconds here and show two glows it can show more than one glow it might can show more than one glow because of continuous this out so this is repeat and this is material this material is this circular shape here and we are using circular avatar as well and inside our circular avatar we have the background color gray and now we have the asset the image asset which is this car in here so that's all for this and we specify the radius of our this circular avatar which we are using here if we want to make it bigger we can increase our size of our image this is the height of our image if we increase it it's going to come up a little bit and but it's not looking nice so we increase this radius by 50 we increase this radius by 50 so it's looking a little bit nicer if we go to 60 here then we can do 100 here so this is an experiment you need to change it until you are comfortable 
with the results you are getting. So it's like looking a little bit nicer in here. So the next thing we need to take is animated test kits. So animated test kit, this is it here. This is the spelling animated test kit. And what does animated test kit do? The first one, it's the test which should be a welcome message or the name of our application. It will put animation in it. This animation is, uh, it makes, it picks this randomly and displays it. This is another animation, it fades in and out. This is another one, it types the letters that you enter. Everything you enter here, it types it. This is another one, it types and fade, I guess, I think. Let's wait for it, wait for it, it fades, okay. For this one, it just keys in and out. And for this one, it colorizes your page or your test rather. For this one, it shows a floating liquid. So this is the one I want to use here. For this one, we also have wavy. You can, for whichever one you want, you can copy the, uh, the code for it and paste it. So this is for Flickr or for Flickr. But the one I want is this. So because we already have uh, a return statement here, we have a return statement which is container, we will not be copying this return statement here. So I start from this place and I copy this. So with this copied, I go over to my project and uh, this is where my avatar glow stops. I add this here, this image. And I remove this semicolon at the end of this place and put a comma. So I aligned it, I align it well, so it, it stays in line. So it's showing an error here, reason being that we've not imported the uh, the the package, this package. So once you put your cursor here, it will show you this balloon. You press and import the library, or you can go ahead and type it just like this. Type this line and to remove the error for you if you are using a, a vs code you can just type straight or you can click the balloon to bring in that so let's see what we have with what we've imported so far okay this is what we have liquid d liquid d but we want uh, the name of our app to show here so the name of my own project is Ryflex. So it's going to show Ryflex. And uh, the background color I want it to show is white, since we are using white here. So I want it to show white background. And then let's refresh and see what it gives us. So it's showing white background and Ryflex. So the font size of this application is too much. So I reduce it to by half and put 40 and do this. So it shows this and the box height is too much. So I reduce it to 80 here so that this and this can come close together. All right, this is it here. And when I, the width, we can change the width to 100, this guy is inside the text, a, a size boss, which gives it a shape of how to fill. And uh, we have font size dot bold. And uh, let's see if we can add another font, uh, font style. Let's see, let's see what we can add to it. So I put this here, it gives me option font style. So I type font style dot. It should give me, we have the normal and we have italics. So I want it to be, okay, let's use italics and see how it looks like. It's compiling, it's going to bend it. So this is italics. And uh, for this bold, I want to make it a little bit bolder. So I specify the, let's 
put in brackets oh it's going to show error let's see one to eight dots let's see the option okay you specify the weights i want to put w700 instead of bold it will make it a little bit bolder should make it a little bit bolder than this 900 let me see is there something like 900 okay there is it should make it bolder i don't know why it's not so let's restart this application and see these uh wavy uh icon sort of thing that is going to show us so I'm restarting the application. We am not reflect, uh, reloading. I'm restarting. So you need to restart for you to start afresh and show you that uh, this wavy animation that it did here. So this is it. It's doing the kind of this slow motion animation effect and it shows it. So basically, um, this is what we have. So I'm going to keep this simple here. You, there are so many animations you can use to show your splash screen. And uh, we can go ahead and change the glow color to red, if the kind of color you want, if your animation is blue, and change this, the test color to the wave color to red as well. So when I restart this blue, uh, emission here will turn to red and this guy will turn to red as well since we have a red card that's why i want to make it red so it, uh, the color comes together so okay you see the test is red and the glow is now red in color so this is exactly how to do our animation and uh, this way i will be stopping for this uh tutorial in our next tutorial we are going to look at how to after this showing this animation for three seconds, we are going to move the user to the login page. Remember in our previous tutorial, we enable email and password login in our Firebase. So we want to use email and password for our login. We In our next tutorial, we are going to create our login page as well as our sign up page. So after showing this uh, animation for three to five seconds, depending on what you want, you can then move use a timer to time it three five seconds will now move to the next screen so since we've not created the next screen so there's there will be no need for us to move this animation because there is no place no page we are redirecting it to so that will be the end of this uh, tutorial section see you in the next tutorial bye for now